Hi, I really hope y'all are doing well and feeling blessed. Um, I wanted to talk about this because I felt like it's a topic that the Lord put on my heart. And it's something I briefly shared on TikTok, but not like to a full extent that I want to share. And that is um, when I was in really bad like situations where I felt like my physical health was like doing really bad or like mentally as well um to think about like the things jesus has done and how you can get through things as well and the things that you know people around you have been going through and how um if you think about those things sometimes it gives you like more um i guess stamina to make it through the situations that might not be the most comfortable for you um also like as I think about this, like, it's never, like, easy to do that kind of thing when you're really in a physical spot where you're hurting or a mental place where you're hurting. But Jesus definitely has done that for me before, and he continues to do that kind of thing for me now. And thinking about him dying on the cross and all the pain he went through really helps me to get through things that are really tough and I'm like okay if if he did that I could do this also when thinking about things that you don't want to do like even in the future you can you know pull those things um out and be like okay this is something that I could do because of those things also in life um and a lot of us have experienced struggles um, and maybe we don't want to push forward and maybe there is times where it is time to call it quits and I've had those experiences as well but there's some times where we have to keep pushing forward no matter if it feels like we can't anymore even at the age of 23 I've felt that and I know that the more and more I get older, the more and more responsibility I have to take on, or it seems like I'm taking on, which I'm blessed to have all these things that I do have, but I just thought I would share that because it's interesting to me how God can get me through so much and how much I've changed since knowing him. Also, I wanted to talk about how um, I was seeing a podcast where some people were confused what communion was and then someone was like literally talking about the next day but I recently did that at um, fellowship I call church fellowship a lot of the time because you know it's the body of Christ and Jesus is the head of Christ but to continue we were taking communion um I'm non-denominational by the way um but born again um it's about remembering Christ and what he did for you and also um, being repentant of your sins and really being like sorry before you take communion is a good thing but and praying before you take communion I know that Jesus is also very serious about what he's doing right now though um, because a lot of things seem to be getting exposed and that's something I've covered previously and people are covering right now as we speak and I know that I'm not perfect at all and there's some things even in my life that I didn't necessarily want people to know but then at the same time it's like you know maybe it's better that way sometimes um but Jesus also knows like the things we don't want people to know because he just knows like he is a sovereign God he knows everything whether we would like that or not, um, whether we talk to him or not, whether we have a relationship with him or not. Um, also, like, I do agree with um, the channel that she came back and I'm really happy she did. Um, her name is Samantha, but like, uh, going forward with that, she's saying sometimes, like, not being faithful to God and what he wants you to do can cause delay. I do think that's true because then he's like, well, you know, 
in my personal opinion, like, you may not be ready then. Like, if you can't follow those instructions, and that goes for me too. There's things where I haven't always followed Jesus' next Jesus's instructions, excuse me. And then, like, I do feel like she was saying, the more you get into the Bible, the more you get into, you know, doing God's will and serving others, helping people, um, you know, the more you'll show the fruits of the Holy Spirit, the more you'll grasp what he's trying to get across to you, um, and the more you can be used by him as well, I believe. So I thought that was beautiful. And I think that, you know, it's also really cool that I've been meeting people online that share the same faith and share similar values in Christ. And we might not always agree on everything, but that can be also because we all have a different walk with Jesus. And that's amazing as well, because Jesus made us all unique and you know, when he created us, he said it was good, and that means it is good, and we don't need to change, we don't need to, like, you know, when it comes to, like, this changing, um, from, like, your original, like, state that God created you, and I don't agree with that, I think it's very sad, I think that, you know, you could be delivered from feeling that way, but, um, also, I know that I go against God sometimes as well, and sin is sin, obviously. Um, but with that, yeah, I just, I, I get sad when some people step away from, like, platforms that I've met them on because a lot of them have a lot of wisdom as well. And I wouldn't say I'm new, new to the faith, but I'm kind of new to Christianity, even though I was raised around it, which I think I've also um talked to you guys about um kind of recently and what I want to say about that is like I'm definitely going to miss the people that I I know I respect their decision to you know take a step back from social media or maybe quit altogether because maybe it's not their calling anymore maybe you know but that's fine and um just pray for them and just remember that they were there for a reason and a season anyway that is my video for today. I'm going to wrap it up with a prayer and then I'm going to peace out. Lord Jesus, I just pray um, that you help us to know our place in this life and help us to do the things you want us to do and guide us and help us to be truly repentful and help us to pray about everything and just know that you're there for us and everything. Amen. All right, guys, I love you guys so much, but Jesus loves you more. All right, peace out. I'll see you next video.